recording in progress i feel like i'm back in college <laughs> and i hate it i think i still use my school account <laughs> yeah, i don't I think, think i'm logged into an account <laughs> i don't think i am anymore <laughs> i don't know what i'm zooming from but welcome to retired fangirls everyone we are retired fangirls i'm kaylee i'm megan and we have a special <laughs> guest uh i'm tessa <laughs> we've known tessa for like 10 years i think the beginning of it's time she's an time. og yeah <laughs> tessa is an og annabeth chase cosplayer girl i don't know do you consider yourself you're yeah you're a cosplayer um and you've been here forever like just this is right amount of time as we have <laughs> always yeah. known they're like we've always been mutual so actually this is my first time meeting you so hi <laughs> hi it's really exciting to meet you me too but yeah if you guys don't know tessa i don't know what you're doing wrong because <laughs> she's literally i don't think there's a world where someone follows us and doesn't follow tessa though so <laughs> yeah. the same universe here <laughs> oh, right 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 this crossover of the century True. um Please. so welcome tessa tell us about how you got into percy jackson did you start with the books or the movie um, I started with the books and it's because I joined Instagram when I was 12 because I got peer pressured into it. Um, <laughs> it's when I got my first phone and I was following a lot of art accounts and I came across Burgess Bugs art Love of them. Annabeth and Percy and I was like this girl looks like me and she doesn't <laughs> seem like a Percy popular girl. I want to know everything about her. Had you not read Percy before you saw that? Not. So my Did introduction. Really? That's the- crazy the art that made me read the books was when they were falling into Tartarus it's like a they're like reaching down for each other I I don't know I I actually wasn't aware this didn't happen in the original book series so I read it all and was like wait that didn't happen <laughs> um but I saw that and I'm like I have to know who these characters are so I downloaded it on my iPad iPod so I like <laughs> had it on my iPod I read the entire series in a week um we were on a road trip it was me my dad and one of my brothers going up to see his family and he decided to drive the whole like 16 hours instead of you know flying us yeah and I was reading the titan's curse and I remember we stopped at like a gas station and we were like sleeping out there that night because he didn't want to rent a hotel um and I was up till six in the morning finishing it because I had to know that yeah. Annabeth was okay yeah <laughs> and I remember so I finished real. the book and half an hour later my dad wakes up and he's like all right time to hit the road again and I'm like uh. you have um, to do that like it's yeah. a yeah it's a rite of passage <laughs> so I yeah I finished the whole like series in like a week and I was like immediately obsessed with it I was like grandma you have to call me Annabeth now and she's like but your name's so pretty and I'm like yeah <laughs> but still I am her (laughs) every now and then she'll still address like a birthday card to me with Annabeth and it's like um that's so cute that you like you didn't read it at first so you just like saw her and you're like that's me (laughs) yeah and do you like see yourself like in her like do you have other similarities I mean we're just so like our personalities I think are very well meshed Mm-hmm. we're both very headstrong stubborn but we're also very emotional mm-hmm. and I think there's a lot of responsibility on her I am the oldest of six kids oh uh, there you go I'm an elder <laughs> child and I think Annabeth really embodies that a lot she's head counselor from a very young age um she has all this pressure on her to do well prove herself well set an example um and I've always felt like a, I'm in charge of everything, um, whether I want to be or not. Um, so like, there's a lot of just like leadership and planning and execution and just all of that stuff. And I think it all like wraps up really well as I just really relate to that and understand that yeah that's crazy <laughs> do you think you're I don't a think, uh, oh sorry go on I was just gonna say I don't think that we talk enough about how young the head counselors are because what the fuck was that and it was 12 
Uh, yeah. I'm Child, why are you in charge? <laughs> As someone who has been a summer camp counselor, 12 yeah. year olds are the absolute worst. Mm-hmm. They're menaces. They are menaces. All exactly. are menaces. And I'm like, I could not imagine a 12 year old in charge of like children, especially demigods who just have a death wish. A 12 year old with ADHD and dyslexia too, running around feral with a, like a dagger. I think a lot of the things that people miss about like the Percy Jackson characters is that all of them are completely feral, like (laughs) wild children. And it's just like boggles my mind and that the older I get, the more I look back and I'm like, oh, these are wild children. It's like they just plucked them from the woods and tossed them into a summer camp. Why did they have to be that young, Rick? Why couldn't they have been? I liked it. I, I ate it up. I ate I it up. Me but too. now, like, I feel you, Tessa, like, I also was a counselor. Girl, at 12 years old, no. Okay, Aang was 12. Next. True. You can't choose when you're the chosen one. True. Except one person does choose that he's the chosen one, so. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you think you're a daughter of Athena too, or? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a very artsy person, mm-hmm. so I love doing all the well, not necessarily like crafting, because I think crafting has this like idea of there's a finished product and then you want to like replicate it. You know, like oh, I want to make this to get this. Yeah. I don't really do that. Um, I like, I don't like creating things that already exist. Um, my first kind of step towards doing something like that just as as I've gotten older and I'm like okay I don't have to be original 24 7 is the summer I learned how to make friendship bracelets so I've been doing a lot of friendship bracelets um and you still get to choose your own colors so they're not always exactly what you see but like that's really fun um but yeah I'm very into just creation and art and planning and it's it feels very Athena-esque um I also, I mean, if you look at, I got, I got, I got all the art. The yeah, it actually, this, this was not the original headboard. So like I lined it up perfectly. And then like a couple months ago, I got a new headboard and it's fine. It looks good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love it. yeah, I've always thought, you know, daughter of Athena. Yeah. I like books. I like reading. I'm a nerd. <laughs> no That's why we're here. <laughs> absolutely although i can tell you the last time i wrote a book so <laughs> maybe i shouldn't you be here <laughs> get on it you need to read i'm like the movies gal megan's the the books gal that's so true you cannot encroach on my territory what am i going to talk about if you're reading all the books i'm reading <laughs> true like we have to cover our bases well i love that journey for you this <laughs> and about the journey and you're like still making content too which is great like i feel like a lot of people just like fell off <laughs> That is one of my my biggest things is like I started and then I just didn't stop. I feel and you. I think that's that's like one of the biggest ways to success. It's kind of like being in high school and like you know you're good at your classes, but you're only like considered exceptional because you actually do the homework. Yeah, you know, like I mean, I put a lot of effort into it. I put a lot of effort into high school, but it's like yeah, you could have you just (laughs) stopped and I didn't um but I mean yeah I'm like I make my new shirts every every like couple years I'm like wait I can do better um (laughs) and I went to the Met with Nico and Will um after the Long Island photo shoot baby yes we have to tell you that oh my god but the we Long went Island to the Met and I, they were helping me find all like the pegasuses and horses on like the va- the vases and like art because I was taking photos of all of them yeah so like as like inspiration I'm, like I should do a more like Grecian looking one I just wanted it to like take a step away from the very traditional looking shirts which is why it's not like Greek looking right now but yeah I have like a whole like collage on my phone of just like the Greek like artwork that. that we found can we talk about the trip? How was that? Um, they went on a photo shoot for context. They went on a photo shoot to do some Camp Hapla demigod stuff. I was not able to go, but yeah. I know. I tried so hard. <laughs> I was bothering you like every month about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go. And then I realized I'm, I wasn't in town. <laughs> there was a moment where we were looking um circa 2015. We went through a big collab era on the Percy Jackson cosplay accounts um, where you would poorly edit yourself into photos with other cosplayers 
And we we're sitting at our kitchen table at our Airbnb. And Tessa goes, oh, I just wish she could come. She turns her phone. It's a collab of you and her. What? We did one again. <laughs> Yeah. It, was, it looked kind of good too okay, slay. it was like I think 2015 I'd been in like we had like our basement it was finished at the house I lived in then and then there was a room and it had like a brick wall kind of thing and I did a like a really really angsty photo shoot like lots of blood tears yeah. like whole thing and there's one of you that we edited and if I think you're holding like a makeup brush and I'm going like uh. <laughs> And I'm like covered in blood, and you're like, but you gotta look nice or something. I'm gonna have to find that photo. Or yeah. it was have you sent it to me, and I can put it in here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, but yeah, yeah oh. so what happened is way back in like um, December, January of this year. Um, I, my boyfriend and I were trying to figure out like what kind of jobs we were gonna be doing um if I was just gonna continue dog sitting over the summer he's been doing um trail restoration so chainsaw work so he was in California for a couple months while I was wow. here on the east coast all alone and Aww. sad um you're in New York right I'm actually not I'm in Maryland oh you're in Maryland okay yeah um I have been to New York quite a few times though and my stepdad's <laughs> from Long Island so I feel like I have like a little demigod like of course <laughs> like okay I'm not from Long Island but my stepdad is I was yeah. born like right above Virginia so <laughs> um but anyway so my original plan for this summer was I was gonna be in Alaska and I was going to be working with um a dog sled team like oh, doing that. like kennel wow. work and tours yeah. um and then I got my puppy and my boyfriend and I were like yeah let's just stay like close to where we live so I'm like okay um feeling a little bit disappointed about Alaska but I'm gonna make the best of this I can drive now I'm a full adult it took me a while to get my license because I had a lot of anxiety before I was medicated for it so I was like I don't want to drive anywhere yeah um but yeah so then I was like okay Percy Jackson group photo shoot I've never gotten to do this ever (laughs) like I want to do this so badly so I started like putting out like little feelers like okay everybody fill out this form where are you located what like months would work for you um and it ended up being like two little groups so one was in Shenandoah Virginia um and that was me another OG um Eliza she's been around forever and like it was really exciting to meet her and she was a joy to be around and I met um, a girl named Amber, who's not a cosplayer, but she just did start her Rachel cosplay account now that she has photos from the retreat. But it was both so wonderful just to hang out with them and take photos. We hiked to a waterfall. We came across a rattlesnake. My puppy tagged along the whole time. So there's just a little fluffy German Shepherd puppy running around. Um, But yeah, and then that kind of felt like a little precursor to the New York one. Because I knew the New York one was a lot bigger. Um, for the Shenandoah, it was just me and my boyfriend camping out overnight, and they came to the campsite to meet us, and we went hiking. Um, but this one, we rented like an Airbnb, and there were so people. bougie. It was so bougie. There was like this panel in the bathroom. Um, I push every button. That's what I do when I get to Airbnb. Is I push every mm-hmm. button, open every cupboard. Um, and you turn on the panel, and then there was like a nightlight, or you could turn the dimmer on. But the biggest thing was there was a Bluetooth speaker that like was in the ceiling right over the shower, so everyone else couldn't hear it. Like I was in the room next door, and I couldn't hear it when people were using it, but you could hear it perfectly in your shower. It was crazy. Love. Sorry. Fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, it was so bougie. We were talking about so like bougie. just getting little like you know those little like themed things like those all those kitschy like quotes and things and sticking them just in random places (laughs) as like gifts but then if they asked us about them we'd be like oh that was already there like I don't know what you're talking about there was a lot of radon a lot of radon in that it was always radon yeah um yeah it was like entirely crazy because we spent two nights there I think and it was me and Megan who I've She's been my birthday buddy on Instagram for a very long time because we're both seven seven. Mm-hmm. Um, and <laughs> uh, give me one second. You know when your mother calls you, she's like, "Hey, hey," and then you answer in silence, and then you answer again in yeah. silence, and it's like mm-hmm. always such a mom thing. Can't wait to do yeah. it with my kids. And then you have to like physically go downstairs or like wherever she is, and it's like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm all like hunkered down in bed yeah blankets and everything um anyways yeah so it was me Megan who I've known forever on Instagram (laughs) um 
Nico and Will, who are like really amazing Percy Jackson cosplayers because they weave every aspect of the story into all their photos. And I just, you saw, you posted something about Harrison Dula the other day. And I'm like, love her. That's my Star Wars self insert. I love her. <laughs> Literally my mother. <laughs> uh, so I was like really, really into Clone Wars. Um, and rebels and everything yeah like the original movies didn't really click for me but like the animated ones yeah. that just really explored the characters and everything love it's this been a couple of years but yeah <laughs> <laughs> love um it. i don't nico and will you're talking about will, and nico. will yes oh my god our babies. babies oh they came all the way from switzerland for this um and i was like flabbergasted um, but apparently I'm Brazil. that Nico started his cosplay account. Sorry. So I like, I did not hear what you said. I said, come, said come to Brazil. Brazil. I said, come to Brazil. You know how like, like every, no, every oh, fandom oh. has like the come to Brazil. Yes. We love you. Come to Brazil. Love you. Come to Brazil. <laughs> wow. I haven't thought of that in a long time. Remember that really big, like brazilian cosplay yeah. group that was posting all the time yeah. i was so jealous wow. of them so i was like y'all are iconic but oh. were anyway, they they came from switzerland <laughs> yes yeah, sorry came all the way from switzerland and they were their plan was they'd stay with us for a bit and then go to new york city for like a week so i'll get into that in a second but like ugh, i've always really admired their work they've only been around for what like a year or two on instagram feels like longer but I think I checked recently and I was like oh it hasn't been that long but they weave so much like story and lore into every one of their captions and I'm like I could never like wow I'm always so impressed um but they're both a complete joy to be around and then of course there was Sebastian who was there um who's Sebastian he is done with Olympus who I dated for almost four years and we met because we were both Percy Jackson cosplayers and he was at not online. Comic -Con. Yeah, we did. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, when I was 15, I went to up to New York City for Comic Con and he lives he just moved to the city. And I was like, hey mom, there's a Percy Jackson cosplayer. Guy. <laughs> um can I like meet up with him? And we did, and it was like we'd only just started talking like a week or two before. So it was like Kind of very awkward yeah. so like wow like a Percy Jackson cosplayer um yeah and then we dated for a long time and then we broke up and <laughs> he was also and there chats were time rocked. seeing him worlds yeah. were shattered when you broke up I know I'm like I didn't know how to tell people I was like like all friends like immediate friends I told them like how do I put this on Instagram like hi you know i post about this boy all the time and we've been doing photo shoots for so long we're no longer together i'm sorry i mean but y'all are good though right like you're still yeah bad. we're fine but yeah it was my first time seeing him since we broke up really at, at this bnb and it was like that's so funny cool <laughs> I, I felt very normal yeah it was so weird because he looks exactly the same as he did when we did oh, his hair did right, right before yeah, he cut his hair right before. So, like, what, since we haven't been dating, I've been kind of watching him through, like, his social media. And his hair got really long. He got, like, a nose ring. Okay. And then, like, he cut his hair right before the retreat. And I'm like, now he looks exactly the same as he did. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yeah, but it was it was very normal. I feel kind of bad because I didn't take any photos of him. Oh, <laughs> he was just there. Well, he had his little camera and he was off with a lot of the other groups while I was taking the main part of the photos. And but then I like went through the edits. I'm like, yeah, I really didn't take any of him. There's oh. like two where he's in the background with Megan. And I'm like, <laughs> sorry, oh, dude. It. And I purposefully left those in the gallery, just so you know. Um <laughs> I can't wait to see these photos also. <laughs> um they're really cute. They're really good pictures. Yeah. I'm really happy with these photo shoots. Um, we didn't do nearly as many group ones as I wanted, mostly yeah. because I don't know. I've never I don't actually get to photograph other people that often. Like every now and then I'll do like family photo shoots for like friends or neighbors who pay me and that whole thing. But mostly it's just I'm taking photos of myself. Like yeah. I do a lot of self-portraits. And 
so it's really exciting for me to be able to photograph other people in a like a setting that I want to do like they're all Percy Jackson cosplayers so um what we did was we got to the B&B one night and the next morning we went out to Port Jefferson on Long Island which is where my stepdad used to hang out <laughs> um and there's a really cute slurp ramen place and we met Alexandria who was um who did she was our Katie um and her boyfriend so we were at Port Jefferson and we met up with Alexandria and her boyfriend and we met up with Becca who is a uh, Talia I and love Becca just grow you guys are gonna have to show me that like I'm gonna have to stalk because we absolutely <laughs> will okay. they are all incredible and I've known Becca for a really long time um the most I think we really talked was a couple years ago she wanted a ball python and I had just gotten my ball python so all of my research was all mapped out and written out and I knew everything so she was trying to convince her parents to let her get a ball python so I like talked to her there's like a whole night of just us like texting of me going like all right this is about ball python. you can tell them this you can tell them this you can tell them this she did get one though so she has Fun. one now love um, it but it was just so crazy. Her parents were there. Um, they were on a road trip from, I think, Rhode Island. I'm not really sure. I, she's um, from Rhode but, Island. Yeah. It was her parents, her and with her family dog, mm -hmm. um, who was a little shy. So she didn't really get any pets. But it was really exciting to have a dog there. <laughs> um, we all got we all got ramen. Then we went and we got ice cream. And I think my and favorite blue part candy. Of the whole thing, a lot of blue a candy. A lot of blue candy. And some of it tasted really bad, but we still ate it all. <laughs> Ugh. yeah it was like a whole like candy ice cream shop it's really exciting um but my favorite part I think I got a photo of Becca and Becca is decked out in her goth Talia look the black lipstick eyeliner whole whole shebang and she's holding like a bright bubble pink ice cream <laughs> like it was like Barbie like barbified ice cream it was so funny I love like juxtaposition like that um but yeah, so we all like gathered up for Jefferson and then we wait. I wanted to wait till more afternoon to do the photo shoot since I knew sunlight would be coming from like behind the trees and it would be more shade and then the lighting would get soft in the golden hour. So I did not want us all like running around at noon because um, that's never fun. Um, so yeah, we all loaded up. My boyfriend has a van, like a like a Dodge Grand Caravan so all of us like are all wedged in there with all of our swords and shields and clothing changes and fake blood and we go to Sunken Meadows um and it was a Thursday so I knew it'd be really crowded over the weekend so it was very important to me that all the photo shoots were done like during the week um and now what I didn't know about Long Island is almost all of the um, sound side beaches are residents only. So you need to be a Smithtown resident to go to any of these beaches. So originally we were going to do Kings Park Bluff, um, except then I found out it was residents only. So we went to Sunken Meadows and then we were like, okay, we'll just hike the like mile trail to Kings Park Bluff. <laughs> but, you know, we had Sunken Meadows. We walked across the sand for like five minutes and we're like, oh, Here's like a cute little cove. There's like trees hanging down. There's sand, tall little grasses, and lots of fiddler crabs. Oh <laughs> I personally love fiddler crabs. They're like this big. They're really cute. They got their big claw. They just wave around. But my dad had them when I was little. Just like a whole like tank of fiddler crabs. So I was just really excited. But yeah, we all just like dropped our stuff there. And I was like, all right, everybody, I'm going to do all of your individual photos. Yeah. So at this point, I'm just in like a black like tank top and braids because I hadn't really gotten into my outfit yet. Um, But yeah, so I like was taking part like every like person and just doing giving them like 10, 15 minute like photo sessions. Yeah. And it was so much fun. So oh. much fun. Everyone was like, oh, I think my character would do this or mm -hmm. I have this prop. Like we stopped for um, Megan Selena we we were very insistent that we go to a Walgreens and get like the most like teenage summer romance flirty magazine we could find yeah and I think we succeeded in oh finding my god we got one. J14 it was so funny will... it gave you advice for texting and what? one of them is if the group chat's dead you say I'm bored who wants to entertain me <laughs> you the worst <laughs> advice what the um my boyfriend did read it cover to cover though while he was yeah. waiting for us to do the photo shoots yeah <laughs> uh, when he wasn't chasing the crabs but 
boyfriend <laughs> activities <laughs> activities <laughs> absolutely um but yeah, so like we had like Selena and for half her photo shoot, just her like posing with a magazine photo of her kissing the Jonas Brothers poster. Um, <laughs> it was so much fun. Um, and then I did Will and Nico photos separately, but then I also did like a couple photo shoot with them. And it was like so sweet and so cute because I just met him like 24 hours before, yeah. like in person. And it was just like, I'm watching them and I'm like I feel like I'm watching Will and Nico this is like mm -hmm. in the books like it was just so sweet and cute and they feel a lot like the characters when you're around them like you can tell Nico like he was he did laugh a lot more than I think book character definitely would especially in the original um series but like you could tell there was like he had that like feeling about him like that kind of like I don't know how to describe it this is my yeah. hand motion describing it and then like will was very just so sweet and nice and like oh let's do this and oh can we do this and oh. they were so sunshine and midnight rain like yes. so sunshine midnight rain coated but if they stayed together forever because they are in love like so deeply oh that's so cute them. that is the perfect way to describe them love yeah. absolutely <laughs> well i cannot wait to see the photos i have the whole gallery uploaded um including the ones that because after the whole like photo shoot actually wait i'm gonna head myself but including the new york city photo shoots that i did with nico and will there's over 150 edited photos from this which i'm just like mind boggled by i mean they took ages and ages to edit but like yeah, so many and i'm like um <laughs> yeah but yeah so after we did like all the, like individual portraits on like in like the sound well so, yeah like the cove area because somebody wanted like wooded photo shoots and I'm like I live out in the woods so I already got plenty of those I yeah. look at these tall grasses and sand wow um we did all that and then we like scurried up to the beach now the beach was covered in rocks like sharp rocks and I have heard because I am barefoot all the time outside so like I was like okay I'll be fine I was in so much pain she was not fine <laughs> um but like at that point I planned for like a on the sound beach photo shoots but I was hot I have a lot of hair and it was down at this yeah. point so I was just like yeah okay um and I also hadn't sat down in like hours because I was the one running around like doing all the stuff which I love doing it was so much fun but it's also exhausting yeah I feel like um so we all just like put on bathing suits and like waded into the sound. Um, Nico and Will got um, Sebastian to take like portraits of them, but everyone else was just like, "Ah, oh, water, water." <laughs> um, we did film a tiny little like couple little like video snippets on phones, which I think I have all the footage. I haven't done anything with it. I'm so bad at editing yeah. photo or video. Yeah. But there was like a what what advice would you give like new campers? Kind of like an orientation video. And oh. we like had each little each person like say like their own snippet. And then um there was an ad I saw recently for Myrtle Beach, and it was the worst ad I've ever seen because it made me not want to go to Myrtle Beach. But it was a woman sitting on the beach reading and had all the stuff happening around her, like kids running by, kicking sand, someone metal detecting like over her legs and again. <laughs> um, and I was like, that looks, looks miserable. But the whole time the woman is just reading her book. I'm like, it should be an ad for the book. Kind of thing. <laughs> um, yeah. But we basically did a kind of version of that with me, like Annabeth, you know, sitting at the shore of the Long Island Sound and she's reading a book and then all the demigods are going back and forth, like bickering or twirling their swords or like running. Um, so like there's there's all this little content that I have now and I'm going to be going ginger September 1st um, for the first time ever. So I'm like, I have all this Annabeth content, all this Percy Jackson content. It's going to last me forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OMG, a ginger. <laughs> I have naturally a really red undertone. Yeah. Like if you have one, like I'm one of those kids, if you even put like a slight reddish filter on my hair, it just turns red. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like, I'm going to embrace it this fall. Yeah. This fall, I'm, I'm going to be ginger. Falls for red. And green gables. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my oh. god. I let my hair grow. Obviously, 
everyone <laughs> here knows me as a brunette, but mm-hmm. there are so many people in my life who are like, oh, I didn't realize your hair was so dark until I like touched it in the summer and it just like sucks up so much yeah. heat. Kaylee, I know you know. Um, and they're like, in my brain, you're just so blonde. You're just like a little blondie. And I'm like, what? You are not in blonde. What world am I blonde? <laughs> oh my goodness. I yeah, know. I was like surprised you even had like the blonde hair. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I have such dark hair and they're like no you're blonde in my brain and I'm like okay girl you do not know Megan (laughs) (laughs) no I do love the blonde highlights though Mm they're cute (laughs) they're so grown out it's been like a year since I bleached my hair it looks fine (laughs) to me I don't know (laughs) I don't care could not could not be bothered (laughs) I dyed my hair red last year and it's still bring it back I know you could still see it but I don't think I will be dyeing my hair again it's my hair used to be like beautiful and gorgeous and yeah. now she's all damaged oh no <laughs> like dyeing it so I'm gonna keep it naturally black for now but yeah sorry people <laughs> love these hair journeys for us <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh well I gotta get back to work but is there anything Boo. else you guys want to talk about that all sounded very fun and I'm very jealous next time yeah i so wish you were there we'll do a part two absolutely <laughs> come up to boston sometime i hope so i, I want to go. you're not too I've far gotta go once. i gotta go once have you ever been to boston oh have i been i, I gotta go <laughs> once for like one okay. weekend yeah it rained the entire time it was really cold oh but i had so much fun it was yeah. just so beautiful and it was just like a me and my mom hanging out for like oh. a weekend um mm-hmm. and then we went up to salem and did a witch tour at night it yeah is amazing but i'd love yeah. to go back to boston so I'm back the photo it's very photogenic <laughs> it is yes. this is fun i don't know this we can so do a part two also if we have more to talk about you're always welcome sorry i've been so awol um, i talked so much I no you're fine okay. <laughs> it's podcast that's the point this is we a- talk every week yeah <laughs> i'm like tired of talking let's get other people oh, okay I just had to do this by myself last time. And that was when I did Oops All Megan. I still <laughs> need to watch that. <laughs> it's me rambling about I how on, impactful I think it is. I'm going to put it on while I work. That will be entertaining. Slay. <laughs> Enjoy your recap of The Sea of Monsters. I will. Bye, people. Everything has stopped. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, Bye <laughs> listeners and watchers. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks, Tessa, for joining us. Thanks Mm -hmm. for having me.